Finally revealed. First ever wormhole discovered. Many individuals on the planet are likely unaware of how hard the planet works to keep us secure. Some characteristics safeguard us from certain death. Once you depart Earth though, all bets are off. The wormhole is one of the many interesting phenomena to be discovered in space. Scientists have identified the first wormhole after years of speculation and investigation. What is a wormhole? What's the big deal? And why are astronomers so excited? And how does this realization affect you? You'll see the first wormhole ever found in this video. Stay tuned as we journey through the mysteries of the first wormhole discovered. Let's begin with an overview of the topic. One of these is a wormhole. As you will see, a wormhole can be both exhilarating and dangerous. Scientists have been constantly captivated by wormholes, which has prompted them to uncover a great deal and even create one. But what precisely is a wormhole? Einstein's general theory of relativity offers a solution in the shape of a wormhole, a tunnel that can be used to travel between two distant locations in space or time. However, because the tunnel length is shorter than the distance between those two points, Points, wormholes can be considered shortcuts. Wormholes have long been a theoretical idea despite their popularity in science fiction. Of course, times have evolved and this is no longer the case. Because of this new finding, you may have heard about wormholes, also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges. This has been the case since the simplest wormhole solution was discovered in 1935 by famed physicist Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen. Starting with the mathematical answer to the black hole, another terrifying phenomenon, the two set out to tackle the problem. A black hole comprises a singularity or infinitely dense point. According to physics, the region around it is known as the event horizon, from which nothing can escape. It was discovered that white holes, the inverse of black holes, may be included in the solution. Within these white holes, there is also a singularity. They have the opposite impact as black holes. Next, the stability of a wormhole. Their event horizons are impermeable, and any matter that enters a white hole is instantaneously ejected. Now we get to the wormhole portion. Einstein and Rosen found that there must also be white holes when hunting for black holes in space. However, because the two holes would be in opposite portions of the area, a tunnel would be necessary to connect them. This form of the route is known as a wormhole. Though wormholes are theoretically possible, their stability has proven to be challenging. A single photon or light particle traveling through the wormhole tunnel would bring so much energy into the system that the tunnel would snap apart, destroying the wormhole. Also, you may be mistaken if you envisage a wormhole as a cozy, private tunnel from one region of the universe to another. The event horizon would be crossed upon entering. Exiting is impossible. Hence, the only route in is from the dark hole's side. In this case, you would spend all of the all of of eternity inside the matching wormhole. Scientists eventually discovered how to produce a stable wormhole that can be traversed. So if you find yourself caught inside one, you can escape using a couple of calculations. The answer discovered in this research is to locate the wormhole's entrance past the black hole's event horizon and stabilize the tunnel such that anything passing through it does not immediately cause its catastrophic collapse. Following that, what would you see looking at a wormhole? Scientists discovered that weird stuff or negative mass matter is essential to stabilize a wormhole. Recent research has proven that wormholes made of strange materials can remain open and modified for extremely long periods. The concept of negative mass intrigues me. If you put something with negative mass next to something with positive mass, it will begin to move faster right away, even if they have no other sources of propulsion. Remember that exotic matter differs from dark matter and antimatter. Another issue is one of vision. Primordial wormholes are thought to exist on scales ranging from 10 to 33 cm. On the other hand, some may have been stretched to tremendous proportions as the cosmos has expanded. But imagine you've accidentally entered a wormhole. What exactly will you witness? Researchers discovered that it would be unusual. The entrance door would be round and shaped like the surface of a planet. Light from another dimension can be seen coming in through the wormhole. The duration of the wormhole tunnel is random, and as you travel through it, your view both of your home universe and your destination will be twisted. Wormholes can also transform a movie classic into a real-life time machine. How precisely does it work? We'll begin with the particular relativity statement that clocks in motion function slowly. If someone ran around at nearly the speed of light, they would not get any further ahead in their future than if they remained motionless. Furthermore, the creation of a wormhole. As a result, if you successfully construct a wormhole, the two ends will initially be in time sync with one another. However, if one end were accelerated to nearly the speed of light, it would begin to lag behind the other. Both doors might be open simultaneously, but one would be from the past and the other from the present. It's a lot to take in, but all it takes to travel back in time is one step through one door. You'll be experiencing elements of your life you thought were long gone before you realize it. Despite our research, we have yet to detect proof of wormholes in the universe. On the other hand, a group of scientists plan to create a wormhole in the lab. The Autonomous University of Barcelona in Spain has developed a sphere-shaped device that can transmit a magnetic field from one spot in space to another. Before you start worrying about what could go wrong, rest assured that they have 
considered every possibility. They said in an interview that Alan Greenleaf's theoretical work, a professor of mathematics at the University of Rochester in New York, influenced them. Greenleaf introduced the concept of an electromagnetic wormhole, a hypothetical tunnel through space that may transport electromagnetic waves from one spot to another. Next. The magnetic wormhole. However, there were numerous impediments to testing Greenleaf's theory. On the other hand, the Spanish team employed magnetic metamaterials and metasurfaces to develop a wormhole that transmits magnetic fields from one spot in space to another via a magnetically undetectable channel. Creating the device was arduous because the necessary components were uncomfortable and difficult to manage. They did, however, already exist, which made their acquisition easier. According to one of the researchers, Jordi Prakim, the team concluded that Greenleaf's theory was credible after conducting extensive of experiments. After deciding on the concept, the wormhole took four months to build. As a result, a magnetic field appears to move from one spot to another in a fourth dimension. The wormhole in this experiment is a spherical construction with a ferromagnetic exterior layer, a superconducting inner layer, and a ferromagnetic sheet rolled into a cylinder that traverses the sphere from one end to the other. The globe is designed so that its magnetic qualities are undetectable rendering it invisible in a magnetic field. A magnetic wormhole is similar to a gravitational wormhole in that it looks to the outside viewer that the internal region has been magnetically wiped. Finally, proving that wormholes exist. These researchers had already built a magnetic fiber. This device could shift magnetic fields from one end of the gadget to the other. However, a magnet can easily catch up on this fiber. In comparison, the wormhole they've created is a fully three-dimensional gadget that's invisible to magnetic fields. Surprisingly, the Spanish research team study has a real-world application. Magnetic fields are widely used in the medicinal applications. Patients can be more at ease during MRI scans, for example, because they will not have to stand too close to the detectors. It also makes it easier to get MR pictures from multiple angles. Meanwhile, scientists continue to investigate the riddle of wormholes. The difficulty is that demonstrating the existence of wormholes is not simple. Some Russian astronomers have proposed measurements to locate these black holes, which they believe may exist at the galactic centers of extremely bright galaxies. This is predicted on the hypothesis of what would happen if matter leaving the wormhole collided with the point entering it. According to the calculations, the following gamma ray burst would be spectacular, and we might be able to see it with telescopes. This radiation can distinguish between wormholes and black holes. Traditional scientific thinking claimed that the two appeared interchangeable to the untrained eye. Nonetheless, black holes should emit fewer gamma rays and inject them in a jet outward, whereas radiation causes viruses to form. The radius of the wormhole would be restricted to a gigantic spherical. Well, that marks the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to share your ideas about wormholes in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.